Hi, and welcome to the Battery Shop. Heavy duty trucks work hard and so do their batteries. And proper battery diagnostics and testing can go a long way in preventing something like this. The first step in testing the battery is to be sure the battery post pads are nice and clean and you can use a wire brush for that. Or your roll lock pad. Or a powered wire brush. Next, clean up the bottom of the charging post adapter and screw them onto the studs. And snug them up. Now we can connect the tester's leads, positive to positive and negative to negative. If you don't have access to the battery post adapters, be sure that your tester leads are on the lead pad. Next, follow the prompts on your tester to begin the test and observe the results. When you get a result like this, good recharge, put the battery on a tester for 45 minutes and test it again before submitting it for warranty. When you get a result like this, replace battery, and in this case the voltage is 12.56, but the CCA is only 55, it's because the tester leads are connected directly to the stainless steel post, which are not a good conductor of electricity. And in this particular case, you may have a good battery, even though it shows bad. And it's a false reading, and it is not a warrantable situation. Now a retest with the battery post adapters in place shows a good battery, at 1061 CCA, which in fact exceeds the specifications for this battery. So as you can see, that if you connect the tester's leads to the stainless steel post, you'll almost always get a bad reading with low CCA. But with the battery post adapters installed, the test results are always valid.